Good morning, good day, good afternoon. My name is Alex Maros and welcome to another uh, video tutorial which will improve your 3D and graphic design skills. During this video tutorial you will learn how to create this store in 3D Max uh, Studio uh, with the little uh, steps, uh, steps to follow and it's pretty simple tutorial. This tutorial is oriented for the beginner level and anybody can do this. Um, before uh, we will go ahead and jump into Autodesk 3ds Max Studio software and we will create this store let me go ahead and I'll uh, let you know how I got this idea and why I got this idea to create this store well basically I was um, on my eBay channel and uh, selling some um, games I have 100 games to sell it's all new games like Crisis 3, Bioshock Infinite and um, uh, what else? Um, Far Cry 3 and etc. And all the new games I'm selling half price uh, over the eBay. And it's uh, I have 100 games to sell and I have like Steam uh, codes and etc. If you folks interested, go ahead and check me out. I'm a tech dealer 82. Here's my address over there, you can see. But, anyways, I have like avatar like this, my profile image like this. And I decided, look, I'm a graphic designer and uh, I just finished a book about the Donald Trump when he said, uh, think like a billionaire, when he said that if you're selling a car and you didn't wash your car, you're a complete loser because if you will wash your car, you will get another $1,000 and you will invest about $100 into it to completely wash it detailed and etc. And I think, yeah, this idea just struck me. And I'm like, look, how come I have this little, like this guy right here, this profile image. If I know the Photoshop, I know the 3ds Max Studio and a bunch of other stuff. I'm a professional graphic designer doing it already for eight years and making money even from it. Like I have a bunch of customers and etc. And I decided to go ahead and put my brain to it and stop being lazy and stop being lazy and do something about it so i have a bunch of positive feedbacks now happy customers but just because your profile image it will even bring me more customers that's what i de uh, decided after listening to jim ron book um to a better life by the way, if you're uh, interested to read a nice book or listen to a nice book, go ahead and uh, try to Jim Ron, uh, this guy right here. It's a beautiful, beautiful guy, and I mean, uh, tutor and basically innovator and uh, motivator and coach as well as um, mentor. He will teach you a lot. This is kind of people I'm listening and learning from right now. Donald Trump, Jim Rohn and etc. Bunch of um, people, Carnegie and etc. But anyways, I decided to go ahead and create my own profile and um, here we go. I sit down and I'm like, I want to go something around the store and um, then I decided, well, I'm going to model star in 3ds Max Studio instead of Photoshop because it's going to be easier, faster, and I can apply the light the way I want it, and etc. And then I'm going to bring to the Photoshop and tweak it a little bit. But the main idea is going to be done in um, 3ds Max Studio because I can go for two rabbits. I can kill two rabbits. I can design my own profile image. Plus, I can design some 3D star images for sale later on at the photography stocks. It's a great idea. It's a, one of the ideas for you. You can do it as well. So, so I'm not going to waste so much time. I'm going to basically kill two rabbits. And here we go. Um, I created this star right here. And uh, let me go ahead and show you how to do it. Very simple. It's not going to be too hard in 3ds Max Studio with a few steps. Uh, I'm assuming that you're downloading Autodesk uh, 3ds Max Studio. Today I'm using uh, 2010 version, but keep in mind this tutorial will be uh, capable with 3ds Max 5.0, which was introduced in 2004, uh, 2003, 5.5, 6, 7, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. And I'm going to use the basic tools that were in that software in 3ds Max Studio from since 2002, as I remember, as I first time jump into this software. And 3ds Max, 
and uh, it could be designed from the autodesk.com website they having free trial go and google for it for 30 days you can use it for students you can get the student discount and get it very cheap as well uh, also keep in mind that I have more video tutorials on 3ds max studio for the beginners it's going to be available and it's already available one of them is fantastic video tutorial for the beginner who is looking to get um, um, uh, Lex VAT into and uh, hence VAT into the 3ds max studio and into 3d world to modeling 3d modeling 3d animation and modeling and texturing uh, it's going to be um, modeling a computer fan beautiful fantastic tutorial when I'm going to explain step by step and show you a lot of ideas and methods practice and theories as well as practice in real life in 3ds max studio but anyways today we're going to go ahead and uh, create a store and i'm assuming you told beginner go ahead and run the after this 3ds max it could be as again 2009 2010 2011 12 13 even the old one when it wasn't owned by autodesk but then it was just the district and um before autodesk bought that company like 3ds max 5.0 5.5 6.0 7.0 go ahead and install it and run it okay you open the application now let's go ahead and get going uh you're going to uh, see the four different views right here okay and um, it's going to be top view uh, front view uh, left view and perspective view okay you can switch into one view if you want by pressing this icon right here and it's saying the maximize you port toggle click on it um, and whatever view is selected going to bring into one uh, big view so you're not going to see all those three views and not going to be confused if you're gonna press on it again it's a toggle button right here this icon right here maximize viewport you're going to get back to the f uh, four viewports I suggest you should go ahead and use four viewports when you're going to get your feet wet then you can go ahead and practice with more buttons 3ds max studio has thousands thousands of features but i'm going to discuss with you some classic and original features and after you will learn and get familiar with those features you can jump farther keep in mind that my voice can be a little bit squeezy folks but this is just because uh, i lost my voice during recording some other video tutorials two days ago and then my voice is getting back so forgive me for that okay so creating a store um first of all i would like to, to go ahead and um, click uh, on this icon right here new scene or click on this icon right here new and you're going to start with the new scene the next step what I would like you to do go ahead and click on this button right here which is create click on it it's going to bring in this icons right here go ahead and go to uh, shapes on the second icon right here as I do click on it and over here go ahead and select splines okay so basically we're going to discuss today splines modeling keep in mind that I also have the polygon modeling for the beginners um, and go ahead and check it out it's going to be modeling computer fan beautiful beautiful uh, tutorial you can find this tutorial over the 3ds max um, I mean over the morosacademy.com or over the Morose Academy YouTube channel or over my other channels by Alex Morose okay uh, here we go splines select the splines and you need to go and select the star click on it and now you, uh, go ahead and bring it to the top view like like so and then top view in the center click left mouse of your button and it will go ahead and start creating the star you need to hold your button and basically get to the size like this and release the button then when you release the button it's going to create something like a circle or a weird shape it means that you can move your mou mouse and uh, it will basically create the star go ahead create corners like this you're going to be fine like that and click on your mouse button again okay you click on your mouse button and we have six corner star keep in mind if you're getting lost go ahead and uh, rewind the tutorial and watch it again or you can ask me a question I will try to answer you in 24 hours 
six corner star we want to go ahead and make five corner star so how to do so right here you need to go and click on modify and under the modify you will see star 0 0.1 and click on star 0 0.1 and just delete 0 0.1 let's keep it star let's keep it simple this is the name it's great uh, keep a great habit a uh, name your um, objects on in the 3d scene and 3ds max so you're not going to get lost when you're going to have multiple objects it's a great great habit to have to keep it organized okay right here as the points it's a star with the six points or six corners uh, right here you can go ahead and say five instead of six so select uh, six and type five or you can use this increment and this button right here create five corners so we have five corners now nice star next thing what I want you to do go ahead and click on this modifier list those modifiers has different functions and a lot of them almost a hundred and we're not going to discuss all of them today we're just going to get familiar with one if you are looking to get familiar with more than one I suggest you to go ahead and watch my a tutorial uh, other tutorials and one of them as again is going to be creating a modeling computer fan in 3ds max studio it's a, by Alex Moros it's a great great tutorial by Moros Academy okay right here you want to find the extrude extrude right here if you're watching this tutorial I suggest you to watch this tutorial in 720p or 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 just in your YouTube player just go ahead and select 1080p or 720p okay so you're going to see the um, fonts as sharp as it is click extrude just click on it and you will see the star, a star will just fill up with some um, polygon this is a polygon with some shape it's going to actually create the shape with some color and uh, it, it made up of some polygons but more about polygons I'm going to explain you later on during this video tutorial in a few minutes so let's go ahead and um, over here on amount how we like to extrude uh, let's go ahead and type 5 click enter as you can see it's extruded generated some more geometry in 3d space in our perspective view this is by the way perspective view and um, you can rotate this view and have a look and to rotate this view i suggest you when you're trying to uh, rotate your object in 3d space in 3ds max studio i suggest you to use the perspective view do not rotate in this top front or left views so right click with your mouse over here on perspective view window and it's going to be selected in a yellow like so next step you want to go and select this icon right here which is going to say orbit just this icon right here click on it left mouse of your button and now you can rotate and see how the object look like this is where you rotating uh, if you would like to check your object in 3d space you can also rotate in the front view top view and left view but as again I'm not suggesting you to do so let me go ahead and show you front view just click this uh, right right button click on any of those view it's going to be selected and you can operate in this view go ahead and click on this orbit tool as again and you can rotate it but now you can see it's getting to those funny looking things and saying instead of uh, front view it's saying the orthographic view and it's kind of hard now if you would like to see the front view and uh, this is not what you want to do because you can use your perspective and rotate where you want it but those other views is for your kind of keep your eye on, on um, your model or your object so how to bring it back if you accidentally just rotate it don't get lost don't get uh, afraid you can go ahead and click on that art of graphic click on it and select the front view okay and you get it back uh, click on this perspective view right mouse of your button so it's gonna get selected now we can operate here so the next thing what you wanna do you wanna annex to on this modifier right here click right button and uh, click uh, collapse to click on the collapse to and it's going to tell you blah 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 this funky message you need to select yes it's going to editable mesh convert it to the editable mesh right click on the editable mesh 
on it. It's going to say now editable poly. So now we can work with some elements, 3D elements. Like, let me go ahead and show you what kind of elements we're going to work because this tutorial is most likely for for the beginner, and I'm going to explain you some 3D elements that when you're modeling, you're working with these elements in your 3ds Max Studio. There is uh, five different elements: element, polygon, border, edges and vertex or vertices so vertex is a single dot in 3d space and vertices it's a multiple dots in 3d space let me go ahead and introduce you by selecting this vertex uh, you can see right here there is blue uh, in those views you can zoom in zoom out with your third mouse button in the middle between left and right or if you don't have it let's say if you're in mouse that doesn't have that or on your laptop you can use the zoom tool right here click on it and you can zoom in zoom out okay see those blue dots you can select it and let me zoom in right here blue dots it's a vertex multiple dots like those two right now two selected in red vertices so this is the mode where you can manipulate your object your 3d model in this vertex mode which is manipulating single vertex or multiple vertices there is some other uh, in 3d some other manipulation and um, features how to uh, basically shape up your geometry in 3ds max studio which is edges click on this icon right here and uh, the edges is going to be this um, lines in your 3d geometry on the object Okay, you can work with one edge or multiple edges. You can move them, and etc. Um, there is a borders as well. Let me go ahead and show you what is the borders. Borders is not going to be visible on this model yet. There is a polygons, the important piece. Uh, let me go ahead and introduce you and show you what is polygon. Polygon can be um, like a store, like a cube, uh, like a um, square, like a triangle this is a polygons okay and uh, right now in the perspective you can see I selected just a top polygon on this object or on this model but there is the side polygons as well and etc and you can watch and see what kind of polygons you selected on your different views as well let's say if I'm selected this I selected this over here also, when you're selecting vertices or polygons or edges, you want to make sure that you're not at the move tool right here, not at the select and move tool, but at the select object tool. So this is selected like so. Um, so you cannot move those polygons and hurt the geometry, accidentally hurt the geometry of your 3D object or 3D model. Okay, so this is the basics. If uh, you, you using the old version with 3ds Max like 5.0 if you don't have those icons right here you can click on this plus button and you, you have the same deal over here or over here as the icons easy to access okay how to deselect this polygon uh, just click somewhere on the empty space and it's going to deselect the, everything what is selected okay here we go folks let's go ahead and modify this star make it uh, beautiful and um, etc so um, let me go ahead and uh, show you first um, how to work with materials by pressing M button on your keyboard right now you can see our star in pink and we don't want it in the pink but before we're going to jump into materials which is texturing your 3d model let me show you how to render actually your model in 3ds max and show it by the default that pink color but show it how it's look like Select the perspective view, then go ahead and click on this tab, rendering, click on it, and this render icon right here, click render. As you can see, the shortcut is for shift Q, or it could be F9. In other versions of the 3ds Max, it depends what kind of profile you're using. You can basically set it to the keys that you want it. Click on render, and you can see our star right here as the way it's in a perspective view, because perspective view was selected. Okay? Uh, we can rotate our star the way we want it and click rendering 
you're just going to show us how the way it's going to look like the funnel thing and it's going to be multiple colors if there is any shadows it's going to generate the shadows it's going to be with the shadows um, shadings like uh, and etc let me go ahead and um, so you just learn how to render it let me go ahead and show you how to change this pink color to the color that we want or to the material that we want go ahead and click M button on your keyboard Monica M button and it's going to bring you to the material editor right here okay and if you by pressing M button if you don't see this material editor you can go ahead and click on the tools and uh, under the tools um, let me have a look under the tools it should be um, material editor just let's say if, if the button didn't work out for some folks because this tutorial is going to be dedicated to the multiple um, multiple series of the right here under the rendering there's um, material editor click on this and you're going to bring the uh, material editor under the rendering okay or you can press just the M button on your keyboard Monica okay here we go go ahead and click on this first um, circle and it's the first material let's name it one and click on it enter and it's a great habit when you're going to name your material so you're going to know what it's all about um, let me just go ahead and make it um, a general um, material so for general shape name it general material okay and let's go ahead and um, click select the star so make sure you're at the select object and um, make sure that you're not selected polygon or element or edges or vertices click on it double click on it it's going to unselect it then click on your model it's going to select your model make sure your model is selected or 3d object is selected then go ahead and click on our general material and click on this icon right here assign material to selection click on it and it's going to assign this gray material to selection and now if we will go ahead and click rendering render it's going to create a color so this could be texture could be uh, uh, material with some shadings and etc we'll go ahead and get to it in a second all right uh, how to go ahead and bring uh, the um, metal texture to it metal material first the first thing what I want you to do uh, I would like to see that we have some uh, different type of materials that we can apply with the different type of physics in geometry uh, the way it's going to be rendered on a geometry in a 3d world of the 3ds max by pressing on the standard button it's going to bring you all those different type of materials that we're using and we're using the standard this one you can use all of those materials but I'm not suggesting you it's a default materials for the default render let's go ahead and use some advanced one uh, doesn't require some knowledge too much knowledge to use it actually um, it's basically even simplifier uh, simplified um, the materials for you and uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you what I meant by clicking rendering go to render setup bring this window and scroll down all the way down and click assign renderer Sign, uh, found this option somewhere over here at the bottom and right here it's saying the production it's saying the skyline rendering render and means that it's not advanced render and doesn't uh, apply a, um, it's applies actually you can make advanced complex materials but it requires so much knowledge to do so and if you're looking to get easier um, materials with, without the crazy knowledge on the materials in 3ds max studio which could be another topic and we could talk about it hours and hours and create multiple tutorials but if you're looking to create the basic ones and easy ones, you want to click on this button right here and under the production and select your 
skyline or view uh, file render you want to select mental ray render and this is the advanced render that going to basically simplify our work now if you will we'll go ahead and click standard button you will see we have all the different materials and even has the materials like ceramic metal plastic etc and it's simplifying for us so we don't have to f make the metal material from the standard material which is requires a lot of knowledge and I'm not going to discuss in this video tutorial but we can select some pre-built profiles now and um, it will render for us and it's going to be much easier and also it will render using um, complex algorithms which will um, require less time to render some crazy uh, effects on your materials okay so what I want to do for you click on arc and design this option uh, available since 3ds max uh, 6.0 then 6.7.0, uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. Click over here. Double click on it with your left mouse button and it's going to bring you to some window over here. We're not going to talk about to, uh, those settings in this video tutorial because it's going to be a uh, video tutorial for the beginners. But we're going to get our metal um, gold texture done and I will show you how to do so. Click on select the template and let's go ahead and select the template, select the copper. As you can see right here, our texture is changed to a nice gold color. Okay. And it's applied to it automatically. If it's not, go ahead and click right here, assign material to selection. Just click on it and it will assign material to selection. Let's go ahead and click rendering and you can use the short keys, but I don't want to use the short keys because this is complete uh, video tutorial for the beginners click render and you can see it's kind of dark and it doesn't look like a gold because this has some shiny pores on it and our doesn't why it doesn't because right now it doesn't have no light um, direction by the default we want to bring our light to the scene so let's go ahead and click over here in perspective right mouse of your button and then click somewhere and then with the third mouse button zoom out zoom in or with this tool right here zoom out zoom in about like so uh, go ahead and click create on this create icon then go to the third icon lights click on this and if uh, modifier stack click on photometric and select standard okay MR area omni it means that mental ray area omni light click on it and click somewhere over here on the scene you can see we created the light okay now let's go ahead and click over here select the move tool right here and go to our front view right click mouse button on it and it's selected with the yellow so we can operate in this view and let's go ahead and move it to the top by the Y um, axis by the click on this uh, green arrow and move it to the top Okay, let's zoom out with our third mouse button and move it higher. Okay, now let's go ahead and click on perspective view with third mouse button and go ahead and click rendering and select render. And let's have a look. Now you can see we have some shiny port and dark port, so it's getting better now. We can basically uh, see our um, object. Okay, and it's getting that shiny parts, but we're not there yet as you can see this object right here is a circle and it um, has better geometry for applying those shiny eff effect to the uh, as a material to our object and our object is not circle our object is basically squared one which is star harder to apply the material such as metal because the star uh, the square object doesn't reflect the metal um, easy as circle materials or kind of um, rounded shape material, uh, I mean objects. If we will go ahead and select the square, as you can see, it doesn't look like too much um, reflection on it, too much shiny on it. You can select different type of the materials for you to get and have a look how they, it's going to look like. Let's go ahead and do so. Our object is squared, so we're going to work with the square type of material. Okay, uh, the next thing what I want you to do as our light is selected you can go ahead and 
here in our front view on our store or click back to the light with left mouse button you can select it okay let's go ahead and click on modify tab right here and it's going to say MR area omni which is mental ray area omni for our mental ray render that we select previously a couple minutes ago and here if you will go ahead and click intensity color attempt uh, attenuation attenuation click on it you can multiply the way how light will uh, approach to the object more light or less light let's go ahead and put three click enter and also you can click on the color what kind of color of the light will be you can see we can see our star better now and it's light up better let's go ahead and render it click on perspective view uh, right mouse button and then go to rendering and uh, uh, if you, if your keyboard I mean mouse doesn't have right button you can go ahead and click left mouse button but make sure there is no object that you're clicking it's the empty space and it will do just the same uh, uh, feature which you will select the view let's go rendering and click render you can see it visible better now and we have some options for the um, like a shiny one and darker one nice we're getting better to the metal let's go ahead and zoom in and with our third mouse button or with this tool right here zoom tool I can right here with my mouse cursor you can zoom in zoom out let's go ahead and zoom in like so and click rendering and render let's have a look how see we don't see that kind of geometry right here why because our light is in the top on the top kind of on top and in that direction that we don't see it let's go ahead and switch it over here to bring our light here and uh, let's do it again I used the top view and I used those um, arrows to move the light make sure you, your select and move tool is selected so you can move the objects and then right mouse button click or left mouse button click somewhere in a space 3d space select the perspective view go rendering render and now we're going to see some geometry here see that all right but you will tell me that it doesn't have the too much shiny and doesn't look realistically like um um metal texture yes i agree with you let's go ahead and bring some kind of rounding corners to the metal not too so squared and some more details the metal textures in the 3ds max studio let's go ahead and press m button under the um arc and design they like just love to have squared or i mean not squared but uh, rounded uh, shapes like a square a circle and etc they hate uh, for the metal textures to have some square um objects or models because it's kind of hard to calculate the way it light approached there is some ways to go around but let me go ahead and show you the easiest way for the beginners we want to basically make our shape a little bit uh, sh uh, like around with rounded corners and etc like those uh angle going to be rounded those edges rounded how to do so this is where we're going to first time work with the edges and in this video tutorial let's go ahead and select the star click on it somewhere in any of your views the next thing what you want to do make sure that select the move tool is not selected otherwise you will be moving the star object or some elements of that like vertices polygons etc that we don't want we don't want to modify yet uh, the geometry by moving it uh, so you want to go ahead and click on this icon right here select object and now you cannot move the star but you can select it or deselect it you can basically hold your mouse and you can select multiple objects if we're going to have multiple objects but we don't want to select multiple objects okay um, here go ahead and click the edge icon right here and in our top view make sure you see a star like this if not uh, with our zoom tool use zoom tool you can bring it to the view like like so the next step what I want you to do I make sure is again select object icon is selected you wanna hold your mouse button click your mouse button left mouse button and hold it so 
and select all the you can see all the um, edges selected okay but we don't want to select uh, the edges uh, right here which is on the side let me show you um, in our perspective view we don't want to select like those type of edges right here like see this edge we don't want it to get selected we don't want to select this edge we don't want to select this edge we just want to select this edge all the way around the star and we want to make it like a round shape each not so much squared so our metal will be applied better and uh, material and it will have some reflection and some shiny part to it so how to do so let's go ahead and um, click alt button on your keyboard and then click left mouse button and uh, in the middle see that minus um, by my uh, mouse cursor means that they select some ob uh, edges because we're at the edges mode right now that we don't want so click scroll it till you're going to select all of them make sure you're in the middle so top edges is not selected and button is not selected but everything what is the vertical is selected see that horizontal are not selected and release it and you can see they got in the white instead of red now and now those edges right here if you're gonna see in perspective is not selected and over here as well they become white mean that they deselected and everything what is in red selected great now what we wanna do we wanna click on this modifier right here edit edges modifier which says chamfer click on the settings and see how in perspective view even at the left and top uh, top doesn't show too much but left view showing but perspective perspective view, you want to see how the ob uh, model changing because you can see it becoming shiny here and it's becoming rounding like this this is what we want and uh, you can apply the chamfer basically what we did we add to that um, edge an extra edge okay and we basically split that edge into two edges but how many uh, segments one which means two because we already have one edge if you will put two and, and click apply here or not apply do not click apply put two and click enter see it, uh, it has uh, two uh, segments here let's go ahead and press one and enter and it's a little bit better if you will jump for a mount and put two in here you will see that we have three edges now instead of two and um, but let's go ahead and keep it at the uh, two click enter I mean at one because one is two two is three see and the three is going to be four which is total disaster because we need to adjust the segments the, the segments basically is the distance okay let's keep it one actually let's do it two okay and let's uh, on our segments um, let's keep it actually one okay we have two edges right here and now we becoming uh, we are becoming um, to see some reflection and light approaching making shiny areas here all right and uh, folks for those who is advanced i'm sorry that i'm uh, explaining in a long way because this tutorial is designed for completely beginner so they will learn they will jump uh, themselves in the 3d world and um, click ok here and as you can see we just created an extra geometry you just learn how to create an extra geometry and now with the shiny parts let's go ahead and put it like so and go ahead and click rendering and click render see it's becoming more like metal lookish okay it has some shiny parts some dark shade parts some gradient uh, like a metal kind of type uh, let's go ahead and maybe using our uh, orbit tool click on orbit tool and in our perspective view make sure it's yellow selected maybe rotate a little bit and then zoom in zoom out with our zoom tool or third mouse button and put it like so and 
as again I'm trying not to use a lot of um, short keys okay so we just click rendering and uh, render and here we go you can see some shiny ports some gradient dark sh uh, shades and lighter shades in our metal looking more like a metal but as again if we're going to go ahead and press M button to material when you're working with the arc and design materials as you can see by pressing on it there's different type of materials and um, this type of materials liking to have some details on the object as well and different corners different rounding shapes of those corners also some other objects around it and some atmosphere like different objects like in your room when you see the metal it surrounding by the sky surrounding by some other objects surrounding by you by you're holding the camera when you're taking a picture of that element and that metal has that physical um ability to reflect and refract and the light the atmosphere around it and this is what brings that metal look like a metal because it's reflecting and this is the uh, properties of the metal over here we don't have it we have only a black room with nothing on it just a simple black color and the star so you can create multiple stars around the star and will bring the ability to reflect those multiple stars and it will bring more shiny parts reflection and create more like a metal also you can create some extra geometry on this model star some extended geometry and it will um, create that reflection abilities of every single size of the star in much better um, um, render abilities than it was before let me go ahead and explain you what i meant we want to add some details basically over here so how to do so let's go ahead and switch to a polygon mode right here and let's select this first polygon right here on top make sure you select object not a move object so accidentally you're not going to move it move this polygon because folks if you will be at the move and select tool and right here you can move this polygon and basically modify the geometry let me go ahead and click render and show you how it's going to look like and it's looking crazy now it's kind of shifted and if you don't want to have it and you accidentally move that and now you just find out it's going to be pretty bad to fix it so let's go ahead and use this icon right here to undo or if you all the versions of the uh, 2ds max which is 8 7 you want to click undo move and um, right here you want to use this select object tool so you only can select but cannot move okay which is great click somewhere in the 3d space and select click on 3d object make sure it's under the polygon mode you can select the polygons okay make sure you selected one let's go ahead and rotate using the orbit tool right here and see that everything is unselected and only that red polygon is selected let me show you how to select multiple polygons let's say I want to select this top polygon just in case and I want to select the sided polygon so you can use hold your left mouse button click and hold it and scroll it and now we selected those two as well and uh, see they're red right now let's say we want to deselect this we don't want to have it and uh, how we also selected the button uh, button polygon as well why because we just hold it and move it and it's going to select any faces or polygons that it can see um, that you can see or that invisible it will select it as well if you don't want to select the invisible ignore back facing the faces that on the back that you don't see not going to be selected but this icon need to be selected like so Okay, but let me show you how to deselect the uh, polygons that we don't want. We don't want to work with this button part of the store. So by pressing Alt button, Alt button on your keyboard, and then left mouse button, make sure you're in polygon mode. Click on a polygon that you don't want and you want to unselect. Click on it once and you're going to unselect it. Now let's basically unselect them all, and. Um, Click holding the Alt button, Alt button, and 
select what you want to deselect and as you can see by my mouse cursor it's also minus you're going to deselect it okay now let's go ahead and select uh, the polygons with ignore back facing just want to show you what it does check marked now left mouse button hold and scroll select it right now the back face of the star or back polygon of the star is not going to be selected because ignore back facing is check mark okay let's uh, have uh, have it all the time and uh, let's go ahead and unselect it again all the polygons and clicking uh, alt button and uh, do stuff like this it will unselect or you can click somewhere in 3d space as you can see right here some polygons selected in the red see that 3d space somewhere and it's going to unselect it automatically okay let's select the top polygon right here now we wanted to modify some geometry of this store to be able uh, to have it something like this how to have uh, to make it done pretty simple you, you want to go ahead and click inset click on that as you can see it's kinda inset the polygon so basically inside of the polygon and make an extra one okay inside of that polygon and you can control by how much let's put five and I'm going to demonstrate you see and by the way that polygon that we inserted inside of that polygon it's going to be selected and the other one is not selected which is easier to work with then let's go ahead and do uh, 10 get small you can do 100 um, 50 too much you can see it deformed it means that it just went over so over the value maximum can be applied and went to the minus it doesn't show you that it minus but it is as you can see our shape of the polygon is different let's go ahead and click 30 small right nice and um, click OK you can also make it smaller than it is right now how to do so we're working with the top so on the top right mouse click on the top view it's selected top view mode is selected go ahead and click on the select and uniform scale tool you're going to folks today learn the new tool click on it make sure it's selected and now click on this yellow triangle and you can basically scale it bigger or smaller to the size that you want it okay uh, and if you will use this triangle right here this part of triangle you can all only modify it by the top but um, the big uh, the small triangle right here yellow triangle modifying on all the directions XYZ and this one modify only in the direction of the view which is I believe going to be uh, Z in our you can see in our perspective view it's in Z uh, it's only going to modify in Z okay let's go ahead and scale it like so make it so small like almost impossible to see okay the next thing what we want to do um, we want to go ahead and select the move and select tool click on that and um, with the right mouse button click on front view make sure it's selected this polygon is selected if accidentally you deselect it just click somewhere just go ahead and zoom in uh, the top view again and um, make sure as again you're not at select and move tool click on select the object and select this polygon and then go to select and move tool and um, here click right mouse button front view this viewport front viewport and then left mouse uh, third mouse button third mouse button zoom in zoom out or using this tool right here zoom in zoom out holding your left mouse button when this tool is selected you can zoom in zoom out then unselect this tool by pressing on it again or right button actually it's not going to work like this right button it's going to be unselected when it's not selected you can use our move and select tool make sure it's selected now and let's go ahead and move it by Y to the top and you can see on our perspective view the way it can get to the level the way you want it 
let's put it about that level it's fine then let's go ahead and right click button right click button of your mouse button right mouse button click on the perspective view and using the orbit tool let's go ahead and basically see what we have see we work with the top polygon the bottom polygon is unchanged and let's go ahead and put at the angle and render it and see what we have rendering render see now it's getting better to the metal a reflection light reflection then better shapes shades and etc darker areas more reflection it's getting better now but but it's kind of dark um, here's what you can do folks uh, you can change the background color and uh, how to do so go to rendering and um, environment and over here background you can click uh, color and select different colors that you like let's go ahead and click white click OK background color white close this and now let's go ahead and click rendering now you can see sharp uh, star better because it's reflecting out of that white background which bring more light because it's reflecting that white when you're going to have the final uh, render of this store I suggest you to render into multiple background colors and then open the Photoshop and basically put those layers together and kind of merge those layers and um, see what you can achieve maybe between and have that nice beautiful golden color but more about it is going to be in the end of this tutorial when I'm going to show you in the Photoshop it's going to be some extra material for those who is looking to get more information how to combine the Photoshop and 3ds Max Studio as a beginner level and put it further but for those who is looking just how to model the 3d the star in 3ds Max Studio maybe you can skip it but if you're a beginner I suggest you to watch all of it and if you going to get the best information to get the knowledge if you willing to use this knowledge in the future I suggest you to watch all my tutorials from start till the end okay here we go and let's go ahead and put it back to black yet for now environment and um, as again background color select black and um, let's render it again it's going to be dark Let, let's go ahead and adjust the areas that we want to highlight it in our store because I like how the metal look like on a black background because when the some dark areas gray areas uh, selected by the metal has the physical um, properties to reflect better and this is I like this metal better and let's go ahead and highlight some items that we want to get highlighted in our store so basically right now we're done geometry of the store we're done working with the geometry let's go ahead and click here double click mouse button on edible poly I mean single click so single click here will unselect polygons and now we can work with the, our model instead of polygons or if you wanna get it back select polygons or select vertices if you wanna work with the dark dots vertices dots or vertex single dot you can see the come in blue but if you wanna get unselected you want to go ahead and click edible poly once and it will unselect it or somewhere on the screen okay and then click back to our object and it will get selected all right we shape up our model we happy with that now now we're going to work with the lighting and textures texturing more with the lighting now because we're done with the textures it was easy one-on-one -on -one texturing you learn how to bring the metal you can go ahead and select the different profiles and play with the values but it's going to be texturing one-on-one -on -one and 3ds max it's going to be different tutorials for the beginners don't miss it it coming soon to Moros Academy channel or morosacademy.com by Alex Moros video tutorials As again my name is Alex Moros and I'm your video tu tutor today <clears throat> and sorry about my squeezing voice because I lost my voice two days ago and I'm getting back my voice is getting back so <clears throat> I'm apologizing for that alright folks and um, now we have one light and let's go ahead and bring another light to the scene and how to do so um, as again you click on create into lights 
and MR area omni which is mental ray area omni light because we're working with mental ray render that we set in the beginning of this video click somewhere here in our front view bring another light to the scene now two lights at the scene brighter scene two different uh, lights on the scene and metal is reflecting differently too the physical ability of the metal, uh, metal because different lights and different directions let's go ahead and click rendering as again I'm not using the short keys because this tutorial is designed totally for the beginners render now you can see we're getting better more details highlighted but this area is too much so what we're gonna do this light is selected make sure you went to a modify otherwise you're gonna create another light and um, under modify select MR area omni mental ray area omni and over here let's click on one okay multiplier uh, one multiply by one so it's not too that much light in our top view let's zoom out using the zoom tool see exactly where the light is located right right mouse button uh, disable the zoom tool see it's unhighlighted now and um, this is the light that we're working with let's go ahead and put this light to the center of the star let's see click render and make sure perspective view is selected right button click on it and rendering render okay now we got better balance of the light but let's go ahead and move the light more here so less light will be approached here and this area is not going to be that bright let's go ahead and do so by moving over here again get back to perspective view I was in the top view now perspective view rendering okay it's better now we're getting there see folks okay you can create multiple lights you can create more lights uh, MR area Omni and you can highlight some pieces and let's click on top view start creating third light and go to modify panel okay so now we can modify let's over here 0 0.5 and modifier so not too much on the lighting and let's move this light like here move it here highlight this area because this area was a little bit too dark as you remember let's highlight it more and bring it closer to the store so it's gonna bring that shiny to, to that metal metal going to reflect that shiny a light let's go ahead and I, I just press F9 which is same as um, rendering render or you can press shift Q see I'm bringing that shiny style but light is too close and it's not cool uh, it doesn't look too good so what I'm going to do I'm going to put my light higher from the star away from the star and again perspective view selected rendering render better now so we're about to get the star the way it should be so I think there's nothing could be done more I think we are, we are there all what we can do we can highlight some sh uh, over here bring more light and over here some areas on our star those uh, edges but um, the problem is in our geometry those edges the problem is uh, we're going to render in with the black background and white background and white background will bring every single detail on our star and it's going to be brighter then we're going to go back to Photoshop and we're going to basically merge two layers and get the medium happy medium where the metal will look like a metal so you got an idea right folks so what we're gonna do next uh, let's go ahead and position our star in the middle let's zoom in and let's get click render render setup and let's select what kind of um, resolution we want to render for because we're about to render it and I'm going to put it for my um, YouTube profile I mean eBay profile image you can do it for anything else uh, not even the store you can basically you learn how to modify the geometry how to get the idea 
even the eBay profiles, but you can sell this as a stock images uh, at the multiple angles and etc. You can basically, let me show you, you can render multiple angles and sell it as a stock image and somebody will buy it. Maybe like, like this image like this and rendering, let me show you, find that, adjust the light, make it so beautiful, so nice, or maybe um, some, you know, some crazy angles the way you want it and uh, maybe modify the geometry even more the way you want it and um, maybe make it silver instead of um, select different material different color but we're not going to talk about it now let's go ahead and put our store like like this so we're gonna see some geometry but not to the top view but a little bit angled one to the center then click rendering uh, render is the top and select the um, resolution. I suggest you to render in the highest resolution as possible. So uh, select the custom, maybe go to full aperture and maybe 2000 by 1856, which is going to be more than plenty for the eBay profile. It's going to capture every single detail. You can go 4000 by 3000, it's going to be plenty for the poster printout, actually. Okay, and um, let's go ahead and click render and let's have a look how it's going to look like I, I'm having today i7 uh, 2600k with the 8 threads for a quad core processor which is overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz and it's quick very quick 32 gigabyte of RAM if your computer is slower it's probably going to take some time to render it and it maybe will be slower or faster as you can see this side is a little bit bigger than this side so maybe we can adjust the angle it's kind of in the center it's nice let's go ahead and click on the orbit tool and adjust the angle maybe bring it like a little bit like so so it's going to be position better and rendering render and on your computer it can be slower it depends what kind of computer you're using or even faster all right, about like so. All right, this is this beautiful star. Let's zoom out a little bit. So we're gonna capture this corner right here and we're set to go. So zoom out like about so and rendering. You can work, make it so precise. It's up to you. And here we go, it's kind of in the center. For those who's interested how you can move on a perspective view or any other view, it's pretty simple. Using this pen view tool, this kind of hand icon, click on it and you can move on a scene. Okay, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not. With this icon you can move the, uh, uh, the camera and not the object but the camera. This is moving the camera, okay? You can position and be so precise where you want to have it. You can also click render here button. Make sure you're at the view port that you want to render, which is perspective, selected into yellow border. Okay, it's fine. Maybe uh, move it a little bit. Camera move a little bit like this to the top. Render again. It's same thing as rendering render. Okay. Yeah, we set to go. It's fine and let's go ahead and save it the resolution is high the quality is going to be superior for any printing and um, let's go ahead and click save button and um, as you can see already was working but we're going to save the new file I suggest you to save as PNG go ahead and select the PNG and let's name it as a store um, maybe with black background just you're going to know and we're going to work with the post uh, production and we're going to know exactly what it is okay as you can see over here set up if it's PNG select it you can click alpha channel and alpha channel will be um, the first uh, pixel from the left I believe if I'm not mistaken and basically what it does um, if it's black the first pixel from the left that little pixel if it's black it will become to alpha channel and alpha channel means basically transparency so basically it will cut the black background for us automatically 
in the Photoshop. So as again, folks, if you're watching how to create the star in 3ds Max Studio, this is done. We're done here. You can save it, the render, save the file. You're done, ready to go. But this is some extra tutorial for those who's looking to make it farther and create as part of their design and combine 3ds Max Studio and Photoshop. This is some extra I decided to throw to you and explain as again for the beginners how to combine those stuff together. Okay, uh, star with black background. Basically, it's going to be black background, but it's going to be transparent. But we know it's a black background as a render. Click save button, it will save it. Okay, the next thing what we want to do, we're going to go ahead and click rendering, uh, go to environment and color background here. We want to select white. Do not select completely white, let's select kind of grayish. Click OK and close this and click render here or if it's closed I click render again and let's render again make sure our view is selected and we did not move the camera or the object in our view all right it's going to bring some different colors different shades and etc nice uh, let's go ahead and click save button again and uh, select here as png again YPNG because basically it doesn't have no noise. If you will select as JPEG, it will bring just a little bit of noise. But if you will select as PNG, it doesn't have no noise. Plus, it can have the transparency as an alpha channel, which is we don't have to select in Photoshop. And the background, we don't have to cut out. It will cut out for us automatically. I will show you in a minute what I meant. And let's start with black background and instead of black background. Let's select white background or whatever you want to name it. I'm an old schooler using the dashes. And um, here, go to setup uh, 48 bit, which is fine. So many colors. Click OK and click save. Here we go. We save the store. Here we go. After this point, I suggest you to save the file. Also, I suggest you to save the file every time you make it new changes. You can save it to the multiple files because 3ds Max Studio on a slower computer crashing a lot. And just because it's going to run out of memory and etc. So I suggest you to save it a lot and save it constantly. You can name it as different files, save it the way you want to know, where you add other progress and etc. Let's say store the base store with the extruded corners store with extruded corners and uh, textured which is with materials and etc okay i'm going to go ahead and name it and star final because it's final click save 3ds max which is max save it okay it's saved it's done now what we're gonna do we're going to jump into photoshop okay and um, let's go ahead and close this and go file open and we want to open our um, files two files of the png files images that you that we rendered in high quality we want to go and go to the folder i'm already in a folder as you can see and um, go ahead and select them it's going to be star with the black background and start with the white background. Go ahead and select um, one of them, bring one of them and um, click open. It will go ahead and open it. It will take some time because I, uh, I believe I'm running the Photoshop and uh, from the external drive and uh, taking some time because the external drive went to the uh, safe mode which is sleeping mode so we just wake up so it took that that uh, things to wake it up but keep in mind uh, also this tutorial is recorded in real time for you folks and i'm using those all those applications and by the way i'm using today morose video capture software that was developed by me to capture the video tutorials it's easy to use it's cheap uh, inexpensive it's cheap and it's beautiful software that was developed by me every single tutorial was captured by me with Morris video capture and um, it's nice software and for more
put in the video description and uh, this is the software that I developed and right now it's in current beta mode but very soon it will be available for sale for those who would like to record their own video tutorials also Morris Video Capture can capture the games and etc so just let you know it's a nice software Ca can capture everything what you see on your screen all right let's get back to business and we opened the store with a white background which is our brightest one let's go ahead and click file open and open the store in the black background which is darker click open it will uh, create two different um, uh, windows here okay let's go ahead and click select over here on this black star select it's going to select all and then click uh, edit and the copy merge okay go back to this window right here and click edit and paste it will paste the star as you can see our background with this kind of chess background which means it's transparency in the photoshop okay using the R uh, right here move tool right here this icon right here and uh, get and adjust it to make sure we cover it and perfectly in the, in the center uh, perfectly with this star okay when it's matching okay it's nice you can go ahead and select between the layers all right it's matching the next thing what I told you we're going to use some layers I'm not going to talk a lot about Photoshop in this video tutorial folks for you because this is not the Photoshop tutorial okay but I'm going to give you some tips and this is the tips uh, if you're looking to learn the Photoshop uh, I will have multiple Photoshop tutorials for the beginners if you prefer and like my um, teaching style it's going to be step by step and um, just go ahead and visit the Maros Academy channel YouTube channel or uh, marosacademy.com and I will put in video description in this video and it will be more video tutorials for sure all right um, click on the top layer right here layer 1 and layer 0 click on layer 0 first and let's name it let's name it uh, bright and dark click on layer 1 just double click on it with your left mouse button and you can name the layers I always suggest you when you're working with Photoshop keep it as a habit to name your layers you will look professional and it's going to be easier to work with anybody else if you're working in a team or even for you when you're going to open this file and you have like dozen layers in the future because you're going to forget uh, for uh, you're going to forget about these layers if you will work with if some design today and some design tomorrow and you open the previous design in a week you it, it getting to get confusing when you're going to have layer one layer two layer 10 layer 100 you know but when you're going to name them it's going to be easier okay keep this as a habit folks okay darker bright dark and uh, brighter maybe double click on it and make sure you're on the text double click otherwise it's going to bring that menu brighter and you can close the menu by pressing X close button okay darker brighter okay go on a darker on the top layer everything what you see on the screen it's top layer everything what is you, we don't see right now it's on the bottom layer so top layer darker let's go ahead and um, adjust the opacity opacity is basically transparency you can see we're getting better now and we can make completely transparent we'll, we'll show the brighter layer or we can put like in the 50 or maybe 70 and get some detail 71 and nice metal uh, looking star 75 to get some shades maybe it's 80 okay nice we have bright uh, all the uh, available um, elements of the lighting that we want and shadings okay here we go we are done you can save it and call it done and um, let me uh, you can basically um, create small stars in Photoshop um, and place them or even create the small stars in 3ds Max uh, let me show you how to do so in 3ds Max real quick 
star make sure the star is selected there is no icons right here is selected no polygons no vertices so you can work with the objects and we're going to copy this object I'm going to teach you one more uh, feature in 3ds max how to copy the object you're going to hold shift button and using the move tool um, by any access you can move and by holding uh, a shift button and left mouse button and move it by the access it will copy the object you can copy instance reference and copy there is a big topic about it I'm not going to discuss about it but keep it as a copy name it as a small star maybe small star like you saw my um, avatar my profile image has little stars around it small star and then you can use this select and uniform scale tool and on our top view make sure it's selected and in yellow the big um, triangle you can use this one which will basically you can see adjust in the top view but if you will go back and use that small one triangle it's going to basically zoom out the whole star see that and left view in every single direction XYZ zoom out the shape of that model or object basically make it smaller not zoom out make it smaller in geometry but if you will select this one the bigger triangle yellow see like this and hold your mouse button and move it just in one direction by one axis you got an idea right folks so by the smaller one we would like to hold geometry to zoom, uh, scale it down not zoom out but scale it down and then release mouse button and right here make sure when you're scaling down object you're not holding the shift shift will be done when you're going to release the shift you're copying the object okay and you can put the star right here you can create multiple stores again holding the shift button now and move by y axis holding the left mouse button and then move your mouse and really shift and left mouse button is again copy star one is fine copy and again put it right here some of you folks probably saying oh dude you can do this in photoshop of course you can but um, I will explain to you what's the difference in Photoshop to create this in Photoshop or create this in 3ds Max it's going to be easier to create this in 3ds Max and I will show you in a second why let's go ahead and copy all the stores using the same method and real quick I'm just going to copy and place them As again holding shift make sure object is selected and holding shift button on your keyboard left mouse button hold it and then move your mouse and release shift and left mouse button and clone object option will appear you can click copy and click ok and you clone it you can zoom in using the zoom tool now everything is released shift and left mouse button and put it the way you want it using the zoom tool and um, zoom out and then right mouse button disable the zoom tool and then using the select move tool and move it the way you want it okay let's go ahead and render this as a rendering and click render okay let me tell you why I'm doing this in um, 3ds max instead of Photoshop the answer is simple and um, you can see how the lighting and shadings every single star having its dynamic different lighting and shaders this is why if I'm going to copy this big star and make it smaller in Photoshop I can do this but the lighting and shadings will be the same and here it's different dynamic so instead of creating this in Photoshop yeah you can do this in Photoshop as well but like mirror it and by horizontal by vertical rotate it but it's going to take some time you can do it in Photoshop in 3ds Max it's easier okay especially if you're looking to create multiple angles uh, let's say not for the avatar for the profile photo but let's say if you want to let's go ahead and save it click save button right here or you can go ahead and open it and click save over here let's go ahead and you creating this for for the stock to say uh, sell it as a photo stock and maybe you wanna render it
easier now to render multiple images instead of to recreating those images in Photoshop over and over and over again. So you got an idea, right folks? This is one tip for you. This is why I like to use a lot 3ds Max Studio for my projects and graphic creations. It's easy, it's uh, uh, photorealistic, it's nice and after you will uh, understand it um, by following this tutorial and watching my other tutorials, you will love it. Okay, and also I can readjust the light real quick from those stars and render another image when in Photoshop it's going to be harder. You can do it in Photoshop too. Let me go ahead and introduce you how to do it. Click select uh, all and so we can copy this, uh, edit, uh, copy merge. So we're going to copy merge two layers into one image, then edit, paste. You can see we have the uh, another layer. Let's click on layer, layer one and make it small star layer. And now two stars, right? And um, make sure your auto select option is checked and show transform controls is checked. Otherwise, it's not going to show you those binding controls. And um, by putting your mouse on the corner of those binding controls, holding the shift button, so you're going to scale it down um, by vertically and by horizontally in proportion, proportion scale down. You can scale this star, yes, you can do so. And the way you want it, and then click over here or click accept button right here and then place it make sure your select the move tools is selected place it the way you want it and uh, place it like so multiple and create another duplicate la layer right click on this layer and click duplicate layer and um, name it small star not start star 2 and put it here and etc you can do it you know make sure um, if it doesn't fit you can this is for the beginners you can go image canvas size and you can increase your canvas size percent by maybe 30 percent width and height by 30 and 130 which is actually i don't understand the For the uh, Adobe company, because the percentage could be only hundred percent maximum, only for people f f who is from America think it could be four hundred percent, hundred thousand uh, percent, but it's not. In uh, arithmetic, it's only hundred percent maximum. But anyways, you can increase the um, size of your canvas, and you can work, and you can apply them. But you can see the all at the same lighting oh yes you can um, go and uh, do the transform and maybe go flip horizontally change the light but as again it's not going to be that real light that coming exactly at the same um, direction the way it should be and calculated than it was in 3ds max and uh, for beginner in Photoshop it's a little bit advanced and I'm not going to talk about it right now but you got an idea right folks so here we go it's pretty simple and um, let me just go ahead and uh, I'm not going to re-render it but you can do it uh, in uh, 3ds max you can render this in black and white and then put it in uh, Photoshop and then just put the text I'm just going to real quick to do uh, to show you how to this is going to be three and we're about to be done star 3 and put it here I'm not even going to adjust too much and let's let's put this one a little bit over here not going to adjust the lighting and everything I'm just you got an idea I show you two different methods otherwise in 3ds Max Studio you can basically bring that type of rendering as again white and black background in Photoshop and be done perfectly calculating start shading and lighting the way light approach and finish here the whole deal here the whole idea I'm just going to finish it in Photoshop real quick basically I'm just copying uh, the new layers right here right click duplicate duplicate and um, get the idea done right here okay and
click on text tool by here text item click somewhere in here and I can type let's say tag dealer 82 which was my um, eBay uh, profile I suggest that you go ahead and visit it folks if you're a gamer I'm selling great games new games at 50% off for the steam and origin and it's never been used it's money saving and etc okay name it like so and um, create click right here to put background to foreground on this icon or click on this icon right here and uh, select your own color okay then select uh, on this tool right here move tool so it's unselected you can move as again by, with move tool your text uh, it's kind of same color so what you can do by pressing that FX icon here click on stroke bring the stroke around it and maybe set to 7 and here we go you can see it and um, here's our profile image beautiful ready to go if you want to cut it out to the profile image select the select tool and um, hold your mouse button move it and select it the way you think it will be fine like so right there is the other option how to do so I will introduce you in a second like so and then go to image crop here we go it's done you can put the background if you wanna by click over here and this a list icon create new layer and name it background okay uh, background layer everything was capital let's keep everything keep everything with capital put it right here before the brighter and it's transparent as you can see because it has that chess background click on this icon right here this is for beginners some extra who's looking also to learn the Photoshop for me but as again if you want to learn a lot of Photoshop by me by Alex Moroz from me as a tutor by Alex Moros. Go ahead and visit Moros Academy. Um, click on this back at morosacademy.com or Moros Academy uh, YouTube channel. Click on this back at and click on this um, icon right here and change color maybe to black if you want to black for YouTube so it's going to be nice and visible. Okay and zoom in zoom out it's going to be about this size. Okay go to image and under the image um, go image size I believe they're using 115 pixels and um, it's 115 105 click OK let's zoom in so this is uh, zoom out this is the hundred percent nice visible nice for the profile image this is how they looking for it's it's go image image size as you can see 115 105 they're looking 115 115 squared one easy to do uh, how to do so let me show you and explain to you pretty simple uh, all what you need to do just go to image and uh, under the canvas size uh, you wanna go ahead and s go pixels and here you wanna type 115 instead of 105 click OK it's going to extend over here by height Next, uh, what you want to do, just go ahead and click paint a back it tool, make sure it's black and those transparent pixels. Just you can place them. If it doesn't work, what you do, make sure you're at the background layer, go ahead and click select all, it will select all, go ahead and click delete button on your keyboard, like so. And now, go ahead and click paint bucket, the deserved. A color click on it that's it 150 by 150 ready for the eBay uh, profile image or whatever profile image as well as you learn today how to create in 3ds max create a beautiful uh, star okay then in 3ds max studio uh, then you learn how to uh, turn this uh, store into Photoshop export it in the Photoshop in Photoshop to retouch it to bring better details and then <clears throat> you learned how to uh, basically get your idea going basically 
modeling in 3ds max using the splines and then converting to the edit poly and then working with the edit poly and more on the edit poly uh, subject when you're going to work with the polygons vertices edges go ahead and check my other uh, you, uh, youtube video which is going to be um, modeling computer fan in 3ds max it's a great video tutorial by me over the Morris academy check it out and um, let me go ahead and give you some extra real quick let's go ahead and then do edit step backward edit step backward edit step backward edit step backward or using the alt ctrl z uh, short keys i'm not gonna do that because uh, i love to uh, have nice video tutorials for the beginners completely makes sense every single step nobody gonna get lost okay you can see right here right uh, by the way let me Put, put down the website where you can watch this tutorial from uh, moroseacademy.com uh, moroseacademy.com uh, uh, this is going to be the website where you can learn more this guy right here moroseacademy.com or um, let's go ahead and 72 let's 200 make maybe 150 bigger font click enter 150 points okay and click right here enter and or, or over the YouTube channel which is youtube.com slash Moros Academy and let's select this and maybe make it 72 okay this is where you can find this folks the complete tutorial and other tutorials for me but let me go ahead and give you some extra let's go ahead and disable this by clicking on this eye icon eye icon you can disable the layer and let's disable all the layers of those star layers so you learn today a lot about Photoshop if you are a beginner or even if you're not beginner if you uh, beginner beginner you can learn some advanced stuff you le learning the good stuff and um, right here Let's go ahead and um, select the darker layer right here. Click Select All. Click Edit and Copy Merge. So Copy Merge basically going to... Actually, let's disable the background layer. As again, Select All, uh, Edit, Copy Merge. So what it does, it's copying everything what we see on the screen right, right now on our canvas. And uh, let's go ahead and Edit, uh, Paste. Okay, we bring another star to the top right here and let's name it uh, final star because this final star including those two layers darker and brighter layer let's go ahead and click enter so name it let's disable them by clicking on this eye if you will disable those layers they're not going to be visible less memory will be usable and if you're using this for me i don't care but if you're using this uh, kind of not quickest computer right now that you can get as I do it's even faster than quick quickest computer because it's overclocked more tutorials how to overclock your computer how to push it beyond its limit also will be available over the Moros Academy but anyways you want to uh, disable your layers by clicking on this icon so uh, they're not going to be rendable and you're not going to see them okay final store and now let's go ahead and uh, click right click on it and duplicate layer again and um, name this f click on the, on the name on the text of the layer otherwise it's that menu will appear that menu by the way you can bring by pressing on this FX and blending options the same menu appears this is where we click uh, we use the stroke option remember okay and uh, this one we're going to name final star with noise metal noise i'm going to show you a little, a little quick another extra so thumbs up folks a lot of information for you just a lot of freebies a lot of stuff to learn and um, click enter so we name it final star metal noise why because we're going uh, i'm going to teach you how to bring noise to the star so it's going to be even we're going to bring to another level which will be um like a metal okay and 
star and um, actually no let's delete this um, layer final star noise let's delete this and let's enable the final star and let's create the new layer click on this list right here icon list says new layer layer and name it noise metal noise metal noise okay it's, it's empty layer on top of our final star okay make sure it's selected metal noise layer is selected and let's go ahead and um, go click on the filter render uh, this uh, method is available every single method that you use today in Photoshop is available since Photoshop 5.0 back in 2002 so keep that in mind uh, then it's going to be same method will be applied and usable in Photoshop 6 Photoshop 7 Photoshop 8 Photoshop or CS Photoshop CS2 Photoshop CS3 Photoshop CS4 Photoshop CS5 and Photoshop CS6 and hopefully in the next versions of the Photoshop's which probably will be on the cloud Photoshop's but I just explained to you this method is covered in all Photoshop since 2002 which is Photoshop 5.0 uh, 5.5 not even Photoshop CS 5.5 back in 2002 year of 2002 and just because I like to make my tutorials universal this is why I'm using this so it's going to be universal for you folks okay make sure the metal noise is selected back to the tutorial click filter render and I'm going to teach you how to create noise for the metal so it's going to be more realistic and let's go ahead and uh, click on the different clouds and it says that it cannot be applied to the uh, empty pixels transparent pixels let's go ahead and click bucket tool and let's click on black color and fill it fill our metal noise um, uh, layer with the black background make sure the final star is unfilled on the bottom of that layer filter render different clouds so you learned what happened when the layer is transparent now you need to fill it right here it's bringing stuff like this the next thing what we want to do we want to go filter and we want to uh, go ahead and um, noise add noise dust scratches right here noise dust scratches okay so basically what it, what it does um, it will remove dust and scratches which we don't want to click let's go ahead and click filter as again I was right in the first time noise add noise click on here and you can see click monochronic so it's not going to be a different color noise it's just going to be one color and just go ahead and put some noise about I would say about 77 70 75 okay uniform is uh, let's gaussing using this kind of click OK let let's go ahead and now put this metal noise layer overlay over the final star go ahead and click normal and scroll down to dissolve and all the way to overlay okay we overlaid it like so see that and we can see the noise on the star that's that's beautiful uh, but it's not beautiful yet and uh, you can also opacity you can apply the opacity and control the way the noise will be applied to a star not too mad too much but about like like so and you can keep it like that like that it's it's look like a metal people will buy it okay it's nice but let's bring all the way opacity to 100 let's make it better let's make it like a scratch metal let's go to filter and um, blur and under the blur motion blur so we're gonna create motion blur and degree about
32 32 degrees let's select that maybe 30 um 45 let's select that okay see how it's look like a scratches nice now let's go ahead and select filter and sharpen you can create the multiple layers metal noise so you got the noise before the sharpen noise you can create duplicate layer click ok and instead of metal noise let's call it metal noise final click ok and now disable this on the bottom work with the final make sure the final is selected disable so it's not render the bottom one disable and just click enable disable on this uh, eye right here by the layer with left mouse button okay metal noise final we want to make it sharper because metal has those scratches sharp it's a metal sharpen and let's go ahead and click uh, sharpen edges mm, not much let's go ahead and click edit filter a sh sharpen and click sharpen and do it again filter a sharpen and more sharpen maybe like this nice now let's go ahead and bring opacity to maybe maybe like 50 here we go here's our metal fox you got the sharpened edges and uh, maybe let's bring it to 34 so you can see those things in there here we go and um, but we got the um, noise all the way around even if it doesn't visible too much but it is so how to get rid of it pretty simple click on our final star layer make sure it's selected go ahead and click on the this tool magic tool click somewhere on the transparent pixels and now it's going to be selected okay the transparent pixels will be selected and um, go back to metal noise final layer click on that make sure it's selected and click delete button now it get uh, rid of that and what you can do now uh, click right here back on the selection tool click somewhere and it will disable it go back to move tool and now if you will even bring the opacity to the way that you like everything else is doesn't have the noise that transparent background so you just learned some extras and thank you so much folks for watching as again my name is Alex Maros I was your tutoring during this video tutorial this tutorial was recorded with Maros video capture software thank you so much for watching I appreciate you and please thumbs up if you're watching this over the YouTube so more people can see this and can learn from this can apply this methods techniques ideas theories and practices into their own ideas Today you learned the Autodesk Mass, uh, Autodesk uh, 3ds Max Studio and Design software, and uh, how to use basics modeling uh, using from splines to polys and uh, using the polygons modeling, uh, modifying it uh, object geometry. Then how to texturing, which is bring the materials to the models, bring the light and also you learn how to combine the photoshop with 3ds max how to finish up in post-production in photoshop and you learn some extras and this video tutorial was designed for total beginner thank you so much for watching please thumbs up if you're looking to um, to watch more tutorials please also subscribe to my channels and uh, i will see you at Moros academy thank you so much and stay tuned bye bye now